pull your cookware out of the box, it looks very nice and shiny and very clean and ready to go, but in fact, it is not. You will want to wash your cookware to remove any residual manufacturing oils and residue. How you do that? Some hot water, add one quarter cup of vinegar to the water, and after that, some hot soapy water, dry it with a soft a towel, and you will be ready to start cooking. We're just going to put some water in the bottom of the pan. And what I want to show you is that even just with water, a lot of the marks that you saw on the bottom of the pan have disappeared. What I like to do is after I've cooked, I will put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan, sit down and eat my meal. When I'm done eating, the pan's cooled off enough, enough to work with. And so I'll come over there. First thing I'm going to do is pop off the handle uh, just to make it easier in the sink. We're going to dump the water out. I'm going to take my sponge and wipe up any residue that might be in the bottom of the pan. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my non-abrasive cleanser, just really enough to make a paste or a mud, if you will. And we're going to rub that around in a circular motion. What that's going to do is take off any small marks that you might have uh, in the bottom of the pan where the food came in contact with the pan. Once I've got that done, we're going to rinse that out to get the cleanser off. And then because that was a cleanser, put a little bit of soap in the bottom. rinse off any residue that might be on there, and then we'll do the rest of the pan. You see that the sides of the pans are very clean, and that's another advantage of cooking the waterless and the greaseless method, is that we don't have water boiling over, grease dripping over, and things like that, so the sides of the pans really stay looking like they did when we started. Now we'll just dry this off. You can see it's very easy to clean up and it looks a lot like it looked when we started.